What's up guys, Freezy here. So last time I streamed Azure Lane, I got a lot of uh, beginner level questions. So in this video, I'll provide a few tips for the early to mid game. In this video, I'll answer some of the most asked questions about what to do in the early game. And hopefully after watching this video, your Azure Lane experience will be better. First, one of the questions I see all the time is should I reroll the account until I get a specific super rare ship? And the answer is absolutely no. Well, the early game of Azure Lane is extremely easy, unlike other mobile games. So you can get through the entire game without using a single super rare ship. And yes, some people have actually gone through the entire game without using a super rare. If you're worried about not getting a specific super rare you want, just don't worry about it. The non-limited super rares stay in the pool forever, and the Azure Lane have a very generous 7% super rare build rate. So eventually you'll get all the non-limited super rares down the line. What's really important is the event limited super rare. For example, Amagi from the Crimson Echoes event. So these super rares from the event limited build pool will be unavailable for a very long time after the event ends. So make sure to prioritize them first. Event build pool also have the non-limited super rares included. So just by building the event pool, you will eventually get all the non-limited super rares just after a few events. The next tip is don't use too many super rares early game. And this is probably one of the biggest beginner trap in the zero lane. So ship girls get a lot of powers from just limit breaking. And to limit break super rares, you'll need the same ship or gold bully. And those are not easy to come by for beginners. So in early game, if you use too many super rares, most of your super rares will be very underpowered just because you cannot limit break them. My suggestion is, if you want to use super rare, make sure to focus on one of them at a time to fully limit break them. There are a lot of powerful rare and elite ships, and they often outperform super rares late game with their retrofit. So don't dwell on a full fleet of super rares. And in case you are wondering which super rare are good, here are all the non-limited super rare you can get from normal build. I rank them from good to bad in terms of combat performance. Another question I get a lot is when I'm stuck on a certain map, what should I do? Well, the simple answer is to make your fleet more powerful, and there are three main ways to do it. The first way is to simply limit break your ship girls. Your ship girls becomes magnitudes more powerful just from limit breaking. They get more HP, they do more damage, at the cost of increased oil per battle. I have a short guide on limit break, and you can find that in the video description. The second way is to level up your ship girls. So in Azure Lane, there's a level advantage system. For each level the ship has over the enemy, the ship gains 2% more bonus damage and receives 2% less damage for a maximum of 50%. So as long as you are 20 levels above the enemy, you can stomp them quite easily. The third way is to enhance your gear. The way damage is calculated in Azure Lane is every stats and damage bonus you get multiplies off of your weapon's base damage. So increasing your weapon's base damage will give you a very significant damage boost. For example, just having plus 6 on this gun will more than double the DPS for that ship. So for the late game, beyond chapter 8, where the level advantage system can no longer carry the fleet, having fully enhanced gear is necessary. And the next tip might surprise you, and that is, do not worry about ship synergy early game. It really does not matter. While having a fleet with synergy is nice, it is not required until very late into the game. If you have done all three things I just said, then you will have no trouble until chapter 8 or 9. So don't worry if your fleet have no synergy, it really does not matter. As you progress through the game, more options will open and you can build the ideal team later. Now this tip is probably the most important one, and that is level up your player level to 70 as soon as possible. There are three valuable resources you need in this game. There are skill books, equipment boxes, and enhancement parts. You can get them every day from the daily event, and the quality of these resources you get is dependent on your commander level. Once you reach level 70, you'll have access to the highest level daily event, which gives a lot of gold skill books and equipment boxes. 
So make sure to try your best and reach level 70 as soon as possible. I have a guide on how to effectively level up your player level and you can find that in the video description. Also some people might not know this, on every Sunday, you can play all 3 daily events. And finally the last tip, I've seen too many people have this problem. You need to make sure to level at least 2 strong battleships. Unlike in real life, battleships are way better than carriers in the zero lane. Battleships have higher single target damage to kill bosses and they can equip auxiliary guns to defend themselves from suicide bolts. On every late game map, you always want to run at least one battleship per fleet. So focus on at least two battleships, one for the escort fleet and one for the boss fleet. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you dodge some of the beginner's trap in the zero lane. This is the first time I'm trying this video format, so make sure to let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters and thanks for watching, have a nice day.